Welcome to Armistling on Neutral Ground. My name is Ray, your host today, Jan Samolinc and Engin Terzi. And our guest is reigning, defending WAF World Heavyweight Champion with both arms. With both arms, I yes? think, I think, yes. We are Official, thinking Officially, yes. yes. Officially, Offi- officially, right from the last report, yes. The case, is, er- the, the case is closed? The case is closed? I think it might be still open. Uh, we can I talk don't. about that. We can talk okay. about that. Yeah, Arif yeah. won uh, right arm. For I'm sure. Correct? For sure. Yes. And yeah, yes, he, most he likely right. left too. Yeah. He won right arm. And with left arm, the winner was Cody... Cody Mary. Mary. Cody, Cody Mary yeah. from, from USA. But... Uh, yeah. What we have <laughs> learned, OD was using TRT, testosterone replacement therapy, which is legal, but you will still uh, be shown as positive when you do the test. Mm-hmm. So that that's the information we got. But the case is still open, so we don't know. Maybe it's something different, but uh, still we have WAF, 2019 WAF World Champion right here, and uh, uh, maybe... Tell us a little bit more about other accomplishments, or or this was his first world title, or or introduce us. Yeah, Engin, take it over. As your countryman, Arif, Arif e, bu e, senin ilk dünya şampiyonluğun muydu diye soruyorlar. Diğer e, derecelerini, başarılarını soruyorlar. Yani, yani büyükler için evet ilk defaydı. Ama e, süper gençler için daha önce bir defa daha dünya şampiyonluğu yaşamıştım. 2013. Aha. Evet, 2013'te. Yeah. Uh, he, he said that he was it was first world title this uh, last year with seniors, but uh, he was also U21 world champion in 2013, under 21 years old category. He was also world champion. Evet, başka ne var? Avrupa var. 2016 Avrupa var abi. European. Yeah, yeah 2016, you know, European champion with right arm over Gennady, Levan yes. and Krasimir. Yeah, and Kostadinov. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That yeah. was actually first time when I really, really, really saw uh, Arif in action, and when when I when I uh, realized that he's a really world class heavyweight. When I when I saw him against Gennady, against against Levan, against uh, Krasimir, and that was a year I saw. Yes, Arif, he, he, Arif is he, a real, he, real world class. Like he, in 2000, he beat Levan. 2015, yeah, 2015. He, he, he, I remember he a win. Levan he a win. Yeah. Long yeah, war. Stopped, they stopped, stopped him in a, in a in a bad position, position. and pulled him yeah. back. Uh, yani, şey diyor yeah, ki yeah. ilk defa diyor onu diyor 2016'da diyor yani bu kadar diyor hani şey olduğunu gördüm diyor hani dünya çapında e, bir bilekçi olduğunu Levana Krasimire ve Gena diye karşı diyor. Ben de dedim 2015 yılında bir evet, Levana evet. karşı bir galibiyeti vardı kötü pozisyonda yakaladı yani, yendi. Yani. Yani. Yeah, he said it was a bad position that he caught him and then from there he managed to you know Arif. Uh, for a super heavyweight, his hands are not so big. Like if he had a hand on Levan, you know, just I mean, trust me, it would just be much more dangerous, you know, because he had always hard time to get a grip on Levan's hand, you know, just you know, some, yeah. What what is Arif's uh, height and weight? Right. Uh, senin boyun boyun ve kilon kaç Arif? Bir seksen altı abi. Kiloda yani yarışmada yüz otuzdum en son dünya uh-huh. şampiyonasında. Uh-huh. Uh, şu an ama yüz kırk. Uh, he says that he's 186 something, and during the competition he was 130 kilo. But just because last two months, you know, he had to stay at home. Now he's 140 kilo. You know, today I saw him. He, he he's not fat, but he's not as athletic as you know he was at the. You know, yeah. he was not training, just laying, you know, all the time. You know, yeah. 130 a lot. I, I thought he's lighter. He he don't look like 130. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's under. He has been even 145 kilo. Yeah. Uh, Romanya'da kaç kiloydun sen 2016'da? 2016'da yok abi. Ee, Romanya'da 2016'da 134-135 civarındaydım yine. Aha, he was 134 Aha, kilo. Daha fazla değil. Of the Europeans in 2016. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So uh, you, today you had table practice. I mean, yeah, some people had it. I didn't, you know. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. But yeah. Arif, Arif had it, yeah. Arif was. Yeah, I mean, not really, you know, like not really, you know, just like you know. Too strong. Yes, yes. Too strong. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Strong, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Is it is it fair to say he's right now number one in Turkey with with of both course, arms? Of course, you know. Of course, yeah. Because yeah, I mean. And the, the closest, closest thing is Ferit, yes. Ferit and probably o- Ozan, but you know, still, okay. I I wouldn't bet against. Uh, Arif, because Arif was, 
better than you know Ferit last two years that I saw in competition. Once was in uh, national qualification before the World Championships in Antalya, and uh, and also the last World Championships they had the match. Yeah, Arif was clearly better, and that is why now uh, uh, Ferit is training uh, more seriously. Just because of him, you know, just just wanted to see him, you know. Sen Türkiye'deki en güçlü mü dedim? De en güçlü dedim yani. Zaten en yakın Ferit Lozan olur dedim. Ama son iki senedir yaptıkların açık araydın. O yüzden de Ferit şu anda daha ciddi, daha şey, onu da motive ettin yani böyle. Ha, daha böyle hani şey olsun. Evet. Aha, aha. Evet. Yeah. I want to ask about uh, Arif and uh, has, has he done some other sports or, or, or something before, like background in, in some other sports before arm wrestling? Bilek Güreş'in önce başka bir yani spor Bilek yaptım. Bilek önce, daha öncesinde futbol oynamıştım abi. Yani yani futbol yani lisanslı futbol olarak player. sadece futbol. So no strength sport. İki sene, iki so sene no, kadar. Not, not really güç yani... sporu yapmadın ama değil mi? Efendim? Güç sporu yapmamıştın ama lisanslı olarak. Yani şey, şöyle söyleyeyim, 10, 14 yaşında fitness'a başladım ama lisanslı değildi yani tabii ki. He said that he started to do like bodybuilding type of training when he was 14. But he wasn't like anything like competition or something just, just to... Uh, train to be stronger. You know, I, I want to add something. You know, uh, Arif is originally from a city that uh, very small city in the east of Turkey, and like half of the national champions in senior team is from there. You know, from yeah. that city. You know, genetically very very strong. Hamza is also from there mm-hmm. as well. Yeah, Tunçay, Tun Tun. No, Ezra is right right neighbor, right neighbor. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Erzurum <laughs> and and Tunçay Başaran is also Tunçay, Başaran, yeah. same same city yeah Bayburt yeah yeah there are like like many of them They're this year 65 kilo champion Yusuf Ziya Yıldızoğlu 65 kilo the, mm-hmm. the glasses he is also from that city you know like uh, many that, many many champions are from there you know yeah that's what I want, wanted to say because uh, when, when uh, Arif started I think he really fast achieved uh, world class level and then I, I thought maybe there's some background <laughs> in some wrestling or some other sport because uh, if he no. says soccer is not not any connection with arm wrestling and and he did did achieve very very high world results I think in in quite short term Arif senin için diyor yani bilek güreşine başlar başlamaz diyor çok hızlı diyor zirveye Ulaştı. Biz de düşündük ki diyor yani acaba daha öncesinde bir güç sporu falan yapmış mıydı? Kuvvetliydi de hani bu tarafa geldi gücü mü transfer etti diye soruyor da. Yok ben, yapmadım ama hani o zaman da yine bilek güreşi yapıyordum. E, hocalarımla said, vesaire. Yeah. From young years he was still pulling. You know. <gülüyor> yeah. yeah. With his like uh, fitness you know bodybuilding teachers you know he was arm wrestling with them. But Arif is from somewhere that in Turkey, like most knowledgeable places, one city is my city, and then one city is the Istanbul Pendik. Pendik is like, you know, when I said that people are from the uh, city from east, but they are originally from there. All many of them lives in the uh, town that you know in Istanbul Pendik it's called. That's where they also Niyazikurt is. So those. Uh, there is a, I don't know how to say, like like generation by generation, like great pullers are from there because mm-hmm. the arm wrestlers are from there. You understand? Even when we I started, I was going to Pendik. I was we were training with those guys. You know, with you know, of course, when I started, I was just born. You understand? At that time, but I mean, it is like Niazi and some other guys from there. So these these are the generation that follows after them. You know, but Arif has his own, uh, how to say, own way of training methods everything you know senin diyorum sen e, pendikte orada zaten bir bilek güreşi geçmişi var 30 yıllık bir geçmiş var orada yani Türkiye'de bilek güreşi deyince e, işin e, ilmi anlamında bir yalova bir bir pendik yani esas gözüken yerler buraları Arif diyorum oradan ama Arif diyorum e, kendi metodlarını kendi şeylerini e, geliştirerek üzerine koydu belki temelde oradan aldı tabii ki ama üzerine evet, kendi ki. değil mi değil mi kendi metodlarını tabii ki. geliştirdi yani, yani. ha yani, yani. yani. Said, yes. söyle sen ha temel söyle. temel buradan tabii ki ama yine elimizden geldiğince biz de üzerine bir şeyler eklemeye çalıştık abi. Yeah, he said that the base is from there but he said that you know he also added things by the time he has his own gym yeah yeah pendik and you know he has own club and then every every saturday the guys are meeting there and arm wrestling you know mm-hmm, yeah. mm-hmm. Uh, I, I, will, I will be fair. I'm, I'm not a 
sometimes uh, biggest fan of heavyweight arm wrestlers, but uh, when I watch Arif, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I, I, I have seen he's really good with top roll, he's good with hook, he can pull with flat wrist, he can pull with dead wrist, and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And he, yeah. And he's very technical and uh, very, I would say, uh, uh, universal for a heavyweight, he can pull in different positions. So yes, yes, is, yes, is, yes, is, yes. Is, is he doing uh, quite often table time, like once a week, twice a week, uh, pulling on table a lot? I know, I know the answer. I will ask him. So just because we invited him, you know. Diyor ki ben diyor normalde diyor öyle ağır sıklıklara diyor öyle pek hayranlık duymam diyor. Yani öyle diyor şey değilim ama diyor Arif diyor başka diyor. Arif diyor top roll yapabiliyor, side pressure yapabiliyor, hook yapıyor, bileği düşük basıyor. Her her türlü bakıyorum yapıyor diyor. Yani bunu diyor neye borçlu diyor yoksa diyor çok sık masa antrenmanı mı yapıyor diye soruyor senin için. Yani. Yani. Çok sık haftada bir gün bizim masa antrenmanımız var abi. Sen de biliyorsundur. Aha, aha. Onun dışında hafta içi iki gün olan ağırlık idmanlarımızın sonunda da yine teknik taktik çalışıyoruz ama evet. e, sadece hani kendi tekniğime yönelik değil de e, diğer tekniklerde de güçlü olmak için onları da e, daha tabii. fazla çalışarak üstüne katıyorum. Çünkü o pozisyonlara düştüğümde e, devam ha. etmek istiyorum tabii ki. Hani mücadelemi evet. sürdürmek istiyorum. Ha. O yüzden bütün teknikleri olabildiğince e, üstünden geçiyorum yani çalışıyorum. He, he says that, you know, uh, once a week on Saturdays, they have only table training. But during the weekdays, there are like uh, two days, two lifting days that, you know, after he finished those trainings, he do uh, technical training for all possible ways. Just in case if he needed to use it, you know, he is also adding more skills to his uh, main technique, you know, just, just in case, like yeah. some shoulder press and some dead wrist press. So he's just... Uh, becoming more and more well-rounded by those uh, extra uh, technical table trainings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's very well seen that he is not built only only in gym. That he, it's also a lot of lot of table practice. That's very yeah. well seen. Yeah, belli oluyor diyor onun diyor sadece diyor ağırlık çalışmadı. Çok masa yaptığı da belli oluyor diyor yani masa kalitesinden belli oluyor diyor. No, thank you. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I want to ask. Um, we we we see a lot of changes right now in WF. I would say, uh, like a lot of guys are leaving for professional, or they're not competing anymore. Like <laughs> especially in heavyweights, Levan left. Uh, Krasimir used to pull there from time to time. Gennady is not there. Who Gennady is, is still? Gennady is still there. <laughs> yeah, but Gennady, Gennady hasn't pulled in some time there. So it's you because know. of injury, probably. I don't know. But, but yeah. still, he's not there. It's, it's, yes, it's yes, yes, yeah, yeah. He's but, he's but, but he's, he's captain of one thing. I, I'm, I'm, we're, I'm, we're not, I'm not yeah. talking like he's he's gone for no no no no. I'm no, just no, saying. Like, I'm just saying that people for some reason always leaves the sport. You know, some of, because of, of injury, course, some of because course. of that. So yeah. no, I would say I would say right now is big change for heavyweights right there. Uh, I would the same thing happened when Pushkar left. You know, then in his place was Levan. Now there needs to be someone else, uh, and we have seen very big success from these guys that are top guys in heavyweight. You know, the, the one was Pushkar, one was Levan. Uh, does Arif has aspirations to be that guy? Well, after his, uh, he still wants to I think win year after year. But what's the plan ultimately? Like uh, he wants to try WL side or maybe try PAL side or, or, or you know, what's the aspirations? Mm -hmm. Or just mm -hmm. be, the, be I, best, as strongest as possible and be best in I, the world. I will, I will also add something, you know. Um, who is the uh, second best guy of the top eight as far as today is Laletin, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. The Vitali, uh, the guy that I beat in the final, this year, I mean, last World Championship, the Bulgarian guy, yeah, actually, Bulgarian. Actually, actually, yeah. actually beat Lalet in there, you know. So, yeah, 18, eight, no, 18, 18 Europeans. 18 Europeans, you know. yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. In Bulgaria, yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he beat, so, but now he's even bigger for, in the, for the uh, heavyweight. You know, it is like even some people would stay, you know, in the sport. It doesn't mean that they are uh, unbeatable forever, you understand? Yeah, so there are some guys that, you know, would actually... I mean, has a chance to beat them. And it is always possible. Now you can say that they are better. But I'm not going to go into details. But, you know, anyone that who leaves WAF and then go only pro for sure will get stronger as well. You know, this, you know what I mean. I, well, so, yeah. Okay, okay. So, okay. So I'm going to ask him the question. Arif. E diyor ki hani şu anda diyor geçmişte diyor işte şu sporcu vardı bu vardı Levan vardı Pushkar vardı 
Puşkar gitti. Şimdi o vardan ben, ben ben de dedim ki hani böyle böyle hani özele gitti ama hani Lalet'in ikinci en iyisi şu an Palin ama e, Arif'in bu sene yendiği adam ondan bir önceki sene Lalet'in de yendi. Sonuçta ondan hiçbir tanesi yenilmez değildi. Hem de dedim Vaftan ayrılan herkes pale gittiği zaman daha güçlü olması da gayet anlaşılır. Detaylara girmeyeceğim ama dedim. Anladın evet, mı? Anladım abi. Yani sana diyor ki şimdi e, Vaftan sonra diyor Val veya Pal gibi veya Yanis diyor ki Vaft'a kalıp daha da diyor domine bir şampiyon olmak hedefi nedir diyor bundan sonra. Yani nedir hedef? Ya da Vaft'la aynı anda Val'de de gidebilirsin. Yani sonuçta yani e, yasaklı olmayan bir yere yarıştıktan sonra Vaft'ı etkileyecek diye bir şey yok. Nedir senin evet. cevabın? Yani e, tabii ki tekrar şu anki planım e, dünya şampiyonasından sonra bunu biraz daha düşündüm. Hani nerede kalmalıyım diye. E, yine tekrardan e, Avrupa ve dünyaya katılabilecek şekilde e, VAF'a katılabileceğim yarışmalara daha çok girmeyi düşünüyorum. Hani orayı da geri planda bırakmak istemiyorum ama e, şu anki <gülüyor> öncelikle planım e, tekrar dünyayı kazanmak istiyorum. Yani önümüzdeki ya, yıl, bu yıl yapılabilirse. Yani. Oraya yaz, yarışmanı evet. etki etmeyecek profesyonel yarışmaları etmeyecek. da ekleyebilirim diyorsun. Ha. Evet, Ama işte. vafı, yani profesyonelde yarışacağım diye vafı, vafta yarışacağım diye de profesyonelden vazgeçeceğim diye bir şey yok. Yeter ki diyorsun birbirini etkileyecek iki yarışma olmasın yasak anlamında. Evet evet yasak anlamında. Okay. He says that, uh, he says that uh, after the world championships he thought about this, what to do. He said that you know, it would be uh, what he is thinking that he will continue Uh, to compete Europeans and WAF and try to win more and he wants to uh, do you still hear me? Yes? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because the phone uh, came so when the phone call comes you know, sometimes the connection gets cut whatever. And then the president is calling me as a Kurt. But <laughs> I can answer him right now. Okay, Maybe you should answer him. Maybe you should answer him. <laughs> <laughs> Or he's not gonna put me in team. Niyazi abi arıyor da aynı anda da onlara söylüyor. Niyazi today came, you know, as always, you know, I'm, I'm gonna continue with the answer of Arif. He always like, you know, okay, if you can't beat me, I'm not gonna put his national team, you know, no, no matter if you win your class or not. <laughs> actually, actually, actually, actually, Arif diyor, I save myself, you know. <laughs> He's the only one that you know beat him today. So, yeah, Niazi. Anyway, so he said that he wants to stay at WAF and Europeans, and he wants to also continue uh, competing uh, professional and without uh, risking himself to compete European and WAF. He means that you know he is going to compete pro events. Uh, that will not cause him to be banned from uh, uh, WAF. Yeah, okay, okay. You yeah, understand, yeah, what he's yeah. saying, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, the, the, the, the, the, does he have, like, you know, everyone has a goal to beat someone, you know? Uh, like, what, what, what's what's some interesting matchups for him that outside of everyone, you know? Take away all the Remember. bands, all the everything. Dream match, dream match. Dream match, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or maybe Arif, a few of them. Yeah. Arif, senin hayalindeki... Ama şöyle düşünme yani. Şimdi şuradan gidersek yasaklı, burası yasaklı düşünme. Herkes de yarışabilme konusunda izinli olsan... Yani hayalindeki tek maç değil. Maçları bize söyler misin? Şunlarla yapmak isterdim, şunlarla karşılaşmak isterdim diye. Yani, ya da neden, ya da neden? Şu an için değil ama biraz daha böyle daha hazır olduğumda e, Levan var tabii ki aklımda. Hmm. Evet. E, ondan sonra e, Devon Larit var. Bunun sebebi de e, sen, sen senin sayende yani öyle diyeyim Engin abi. Biraz Niye? sen aklıma taktın. E, Yalova'da e, Kosta ile maç yapmıştık ya onun sonrasında söylediklerinden ha. hani şöyle kolay ha. olur vesaire. Ondan sonra onu daha çok aklıma girdi öyle söyleyeyim. Yani ikinci sıraya da ben o ne dedim girdi orada, Ne dedim ki orada ben? Ne dedim ki orada yani, kolay olurdu? Kosta ile maçımızdan sonra çok kolay olurdu onunla yapsaydın diye söylemiştin. Aa, anladım onu. Aynen ondan sonra rüyalarıma girmeye başladı onunla maçlar. Aha. Peki senin yani düşüncen ki, ne onunla yapacak olsan? Yani şansların ne mesela? Yani e, böyle çok yakın görüyorum ama o, benim işte biraz daha böyle yana doğru yaparsam Şeyle mi? Devil'la mı diyorsun? Evet, evet. Hı-hı. Bunun Aynen, sol için mi söylüyorsun? Daha ziyade sağ için mi? Yok, sağ için söylüyorum. Hı-hı. Aynen, çünkü solum e, hala sakat. Birazcık da dinlendirmeyi düşünüyorum onu açıkçası. 
Hı-hı. O yüzden sağ için düşünüyorum biraz daha yani. Sağla bir küçük daha önde mi görüyorsun kendini ona göre? Evet. Okey, okey. Var mı başka öyle? Yapmak isteyeceğin? Başka yani e, top 8'den yine olabilir. Orada çünkü daha çok. Laletin'le ama e, o da dediğim biraz daha hazır olmam lazım. Öyle düşünüyorum tamam. çünkü onlar tamam. özelde yarıştığı için. E, onları o zaman süre... sen Laletin'i, Laletin'i e, Levan'ı, evet. e, Devon'a göre daha önde mi görüyorsun onları? İkisinde. Evet, evet. Aha. Okay. He says that uh, he would like to uh, pull Levan, but not as of now because you know he would be he would be uh, right now stronger. Uh, but whenever he said it, he would wish, but not now. He says, and he said that you know for Devon Larat, uh, he would want to pull. And I said, how do you see your chance against him? He said, you know, he if he goes a little bit like better side pressure, he said he he, he sees his chance a little bit higher than uh, Devon. And he says that, you know, he said the left arm, no, because he is still uh, recovering from left arm. He wouldn't want to. And he said that he, he wants to pull Devon because I put this on into his mind, you know, <laughs> that, you know, after he pulled, you know, he pulled train here with Krasimir. Krasimir came here and he, he wanted me to invite Arif. And I said, Arif would be too much for you. And he's like, what, you know, what too much, you understand? And then I said, yeah, seriously, you know, you will be too much. So he said, you will see, you know, Sunday you will see. And then Arif was doing pull-up training, and then the pull-up came off from the wall at the bar. <laughs> and then he, and Arif was like, you know, his, he had stitches on his mouth and face, and then drop on his feet, you know, his stitches on his feet, you know, he was just like, you know, couldn't walk normally, you know. So he's like, you know, this happened, and I said, no, no, you need to come. So he came like a, like, I don't know, like disabled, you understand, he came. Uh, and then he still pulled, and he was like, uh, no disrespect to Krasimir, but it was too much for him. And <clears throat> that, that day, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that day. Also, they pulled twice, you know, Europeans 2016, yes. Wolves 2016. Both matches were quick. Whatever. Yes. Anyways, and uh, 2016 Europeans wasn't fresh match because he had long matches, uh, Krasimir. But Krasimir 2000- before had long, long match, and, and but yes, anyway, yes, yes. both yes, those but, matches, Arif yes. won quite easily, yeah. Yes, but 2016 Wars, Krasimir didn't have any tough match. They both pulled fresh, and still the same thing happened. Anyways, the same thing happened here too, uh, with and without strap. Mm-hmm. And then, so I said, you know, I saw the trainings between Krasimir and Devon in two different places. And I, I saw that, and I said, you know, I whenever I calculate, of course, training doesn't mean a lot, but, you know, I saw Krasimir better. So I think that I said, you know, you, you would be better than Devon. So he said that he, he even dreamed about it, you know, yeah. uh, that match. Yeah, yeah. And I, he also said that he he wants to pull Laletin, but he said that he, he is not at Laletin's level. That Laletin, not Laletin of the Waff. He's yeah. talking about Laletin of the uh, Pal. He said that Laletin is a little bit higher right now. And I said, you see yourself, your chance, a little bit higher against Devon but not yet for the level of Laletin and Levan. And I said, do you think those guys are better than, you know, uh, Devon? He said, yeah, definitely they are, you know, stronger and better, you know. They, they, they, he thinks that, you know, they both beat, would beat uh, Devon. Mm-hmm. Now, maybe I should ask him the same thing. I want to ask, yeah. Uh, Arif's one of uh, famous wins is against uh, Levan 2015 and uh, also... Some other years he had some good fights with Levon, and that that year he beat Levon with a dead wrist, and uh, he pressed him back. And similarly, Levon has lost against uh, Gennady, and and then we have seen him struggling against such a dead wrist pressers. Maybe mm-hmm. maybe Arif of his experience uh, could say as, uh, as uh, does he see that Levon has a weakness to pull against. Someone who has really good dead wrist place, uh, press, like Jerry, maybe, like, like Jerry. Jerry or Michael. If, hmm. if uh, what what he thinks like uh, about that move, is there really weakness in that spot for for Levan? I will ask him. I will ask him. But before that, you know, uh, I and Raymond were in the show with Neil Pickup right before, and yes. then talk about they, Jerry. Jerry was there too, and then Jerry said that you know, like Neil said, you know, like maybe it would be dangerous for him. He said in the past, yes, Levan's answer. Yes. Right now, he is more experienced about, you know, pulling about, you know, those of kind of guys. Every, every, everyone is learning and getting better, and and, and yeah, especially yeah. Levan, he is, he is uh, 
smart yeah, armistar yeah. but, and he's but, thinking. Yeah, but anyway, as far as I remember that, you know, Arif's match, maybe at the end he was like this, but first yeah. Arif, I, I remember he had the, like he, the way he pulled and the way the Jerry pulls are completely yeah, that different. that was different. You know? He was, he was, he was, more he was defensive. Yes, yes, on the pronation and uh, yes. Blackie Radialis. And then he went, you know, this way, at, maybe just, at the end. Just, he beat, just yeah. at the end, but anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. Uh, diyor ki ben diyor Levan'la diyor maçlarını gördüm diyor. Biraz diyor bileği diyor hafiften diyor böyle diyor sarkarak yendi onu diyor. E, Genelinde de diyor onun böyle yenmişliği var diyor. E, sence diyor Arif'e diyor sorar mısın diyor. Onun diyor bileği düşük diyor maç yapanlara karşı mesela Jerry'e karşı Jerry, Jerry, Jerry Kadoret var ya. Jerry evet. Kadoret adamlara karşı diyor zaafı mı var diye e, yani bileği düşük maç yapanlara. Ee, ben de dedim ki bu programdan hemen önce biz Neil'ın programındaydık. Jerry de oradaydı, Levan da oradaydı. Aynı soru Levan'a sorulduğunda Levan dedi ki hani ben e, eskiden o, o zaafım vardı ama o zaafımı giderdim dedi. Ben de Yanis'e söyledim ki yani Jerry'nin bileği düşük e, Levan'ın yenmesiyle Arif'in e, bileği hafif sarkarak y- yenmesi aynı şekilde değil. Yani Jerry bileğini düşürüyor, dalıyor. Sen Size gene biraz evet. hammer'ınla gene bir değil mi? Ee, Pronatörünle maç yaptın. Tabii, tabii. Sence bir yani, zaafı var mı sence onun? Yani eskiden var mıydı en azından? Bile düşük eskiden, maç yapanlar. Eskiden vardı tabii ki abi. Çünkü e, genelde de direkt öyle maça giriyordu ki az, o daha fazla e, maç Hı-hı. yapmıştır onunla diye düşünüyorum. Hı-hı. O zaafına yönelik de maç yapıyor olabilir ama tabii ki o zaman daha fazla bir zaafı vardı. Bir de benim Hı-hı. o zaman o şekilde yaptığım bir ilk maçtı. Yani antrenmanda dahi o o şekilde bir maç yapmamışımdır. Mecbur kaldığından yaptın yani. Mecbur mecbur kaldığım için tabii ki oldu Hı. ama dediğin Hı. gibi orada önce ben hammer'ımı, rotasyonumu tabii ki ilk kurtarmak istedim. Elini biraz onlar devrede oldu, şekilde. Evet, biraz daha onlar devrede şekilde bir maç yaptım. Yani o şimdi direkt o şekilde dalmakla o tabii biraz farklı olur. Farklı yani şimdi gene de yaptığı zaman önce çekmeyi deneyip daha sonra bileği düştüğünde çünkü dönüp üstüne çıkıyordu o şekilde veya Hı. Levan yorgunken Direkt o şekilde dalıyordu yani sadece. Yani da ama... alamayıp da devam ediyordu gibi evet. yani. Ha, ha, ha, ha, ha. Evet, Peki aynen. direkt, ama... direkt dalıyor muydu gene diye öyle? Direkt dalıyor muydu direkt, yoksa? E, yorgunken yani Levan yorulduktan sonra o şekilde yani dalmıştı. Maç içinde yani. yorulduktan sonra mı? Maç içinde mi? Yoksa... Yok daha önce başkasıyla yorulduktan sonra. Ha, başkasıyla yorulduktan sonra niye onu çekerek veya okula yenemezsin ki şey Arif? Yani öyle ya, değil. O, belki yor... de, ya oradaki zaafından dolayı belki de. Yani çünkü yine çekmek istediğinde yine çekemedi. İlk başta o bağ ayrılış sürecinde belki onu fark etti. Ya, Çekemeyeceğini. Anladım. Evet. He says that you know uh, he sure had a weakness you know against those dead wrist uh, pressers and when he when he beat Levan with the hand like this he never ever had uh, such a even training match. He never put himself in such match even in trainings you know. So he pulled that way. Because he had to pull, you understand? He, so he had to stop him first, you know, his hand, and then, you know, he attack and op- op- open. Uh, and he said that Gennady would know the answer better because they pull a lot with each other. Yeah. And he said that, you know, usually he thinks that, you know, he tries to top roll Levan, and if, if, if he cannot, and then, you know, he realizes and he just goes with the dead wrist, or he says that, you know, maybe he tries to hook him, and if he cannot, as a last solution goes. But he said, He has seen him, uh, him beating Levan that way, even right away. Probably uh, he knew that Levan's arm was tired. He just didn't uh, need to do anything else and uh, just press his arm. You know, this is what he thinks. Yeah. Ama şu an için o kadar belki kalmamış olabilir o zaafı çünkü izlediğim kadarıyla hani biraz daha böyle opozisyonlarda kim, kim, biraz kim daha iyi. Yaptı? Ha anladım. Evet daha biraz daha iyi. Bir i̇çeriye içeriye bir körek daha iyi rovlayabiliyor biraz daha. Hı-hı. He said that he thinks that you know maybe he doesn't have that uh, weakness anymore because Arif says that you know whenever he arms he doesn't so much like this but people whenever tries to go in that way he, he is more arm wrestling with the uh, wrist he, he says that you know so he's thinking that you know uh, he doesn't know how much but he, he said that you know looks like you know he uh, bettered himself against those kind of m- movements. Yeah, that's, that's that's why I'm thinking as well. Uh, he's he's getting better, but but still, uh, yeah. like if if uh, if we watch like those, Jerry. yeah, yeah, yeah, uh, and also Mike Michael Todd, who could stop him in similar position like Arif did. Mm-hmm. So it's it's it's could it could be dangerous for for for Levan, but yeah, 
we but don't who know. knows yeah and mm-hmm. and, and also we, we don't know when, when we will see this that's you know Janis, people sometimes you know guesses about who would win you understand yeah. I mean, come on, you don't, you, you have 50% chance anyways, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, there is a match, there is not like 20 different, you know, if, if it is especially not six rounds, even six rounds right now, they do the seventh round as far as I know. So, but I'm just saying that, like, anyone can guess, anyone can say, like, oh, Lalatim wins, you know, see, I won, you know, you had 50% chance, you know, you yes. know, but pe- people who really knows arm wrestling would, like, wouldn't be so sure about you know uh, prediction between two guys that were like in a close levels, you understand? Because you don't know their current condition, you know, like yes. how they train. There yeah, are so, you, you, so many small things and reasons which could, things, could yeah. impact yeah. All, all this. Yeah, definitely. And then people pe- people who are expert are always like you know doubtful, you understand? About they are always yes. cautious, you know. And the people. Like they are like you know oh I I said this one and whenever we say see how much I know you know he's like no no you had fifty percent chance you know and like it is not that uh, easy you know if you really think and predict yes yes if if we're talking still about uh, WAF uh, uh, when when I won it's it's a little bit like. Uh, Maybe provocation <laughs> for Arif, but anyway, when when I when I won, uh, won my uh, WAF 2009, provocating, or two, provocating, two, yeah, yeah, yes. provocating, yes, yeah. Go, <laughs> when go. I won my won my WAF 2009 or 2012, uh, I really felt as a world champion, and and uh, somehow I believe that at that moment I was like uh, or best or in the world, best in the world, because I I didn't see like there is any, anyone else uh, overseas better or or, or Zloty or somewhere else. I thought like okay, mm-hmm. that moment mm-hmm. really best. And Arif won uh, Waff Waltz last year, and mm-hmm. I, I would say he's a uh, best uh, drug free or, or or doping tested champion. Yeah. But how yeah. he feels really right now? Does he feels like a world champion or, or just? Uh, because we know there is Zloty Tour, Top 8, WAL, there is so much around. I will, I will, I will always first want to say my opinion about it. Because then, then, then I will also ask him too. Um, he already said that, you know, he sees uh, Laletin and Lewan is right now probably stronger than him. He already said yeah, this. It's not any dis- dis- uh, disrespectful. Because no, no, I, I, know, I, know, I know, I know, and, I know. I know he has won against Lewan and Dmitry Selayev and, and uh, yeah, also yeah, yeah. Uh, Kostadino. And they all are pulling in top eight. And, and, uh, yeah, and Arik has won against them. And also Gennady who has question. been in top eight. But just... Yeah, and, and no, no, no, you perfectly make sense. You know, there's, there's nothing, you know, disrespect. I don't t- see it. But he already said that those guys are uh, stronger than him. But we also should compare the conditions, and um, in the condition that you know Arif competed, he's the best in the world. Yes, do you understand? Yeah. Yes. And but he said that when the condition, he didn't say. I say when the conditions are different, you understand? The, it is you know not so easy to compare those guys and these guys. You understand? Mm-hmm. And and another thing that you know, as you said, you know, you feel that you know yourself that the best in the world. You felt. You understand? Because in the lightweight, you know, what really, really, really represent is either doping tested or not doping tested is, is the t- toughest tournament in the world for sure, you know. Arif, uh, diyor ki, ben diyor dünya şampiyonu olduğumda diyor, e, o 4 sene, 4 kere dünya şampiyonu oldu. Ben kendimi gerçekten dünyada 75 kiloda beni yenebilecek hiç kimse yok e, diye hissettim. Yoktu diyor öyle birisi, beni yenebilecek yoktu diyor. Ben dünyanın en iyisiydim diyor. <gülüyor> E, Arif de diyor kendisini diyor o şekilde hissediyorum biraz diyor provokatif bir e, soru ama diyor e, ben, yani o da kendini öyle hissediyorum dedi ben dedim önce bir ben kendim cevap vereyim dedim Arif dedim bunu dedim e, şartlar farklı paldeki şart farklı bu haftaki şart farklı şartlara dedim göre bakarsak Arif'in yarıştığı şartlarda Arif dedim evet dünyanın en iyisi öyle mi Arif yani sonuçta gelsinler evet. bu. Evet. Aynı şartlarda testle girsinler, testle girsinler ha şartlar. Ama dedim Arif şartlar eşit, şartlar, olduğu eşit, şartlar eşit olmayan halde o iki tanesinin kendisinden e, daha iyi olduğunu zaten dedim şey yaptı e, belirtti benim benim evet. cevabım ha, bu şekildeydi. E, sen kendi ne cevabın vermek istersin? Yani şöyle söyleyeyim abi şartlar <gülüyor> dediğimiz gibi şartlar eşit olduğu her yarışmada yani herkesle mücadele etmeye hazırım yani öyle söyleyebilirim. He said that, you know, as long as the conditions are the same for everyone, he is ready to fight against anyone. 
I think it is it is it is the uh, answer that make makes sense, you know. Yes, yes, uh, and right. I absolutely absolutely agree that it's it's uh, when when uh, when like other best have been in same conditions. Uh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Uh, Arifa right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they were in even level, or or one day one could win, other day other yes, could win. Yes. So. Yeah. It, it's it's I'm nice. I'm sure that if Arif goes to a, another condition tournament, I'm sure that Arif would be doing better and better as well, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, I don't think that the, what, what's what was the name of the Bulgarian that Arif beat? Mit, Mitko? Uh yeah, that guy probably like Laletin would beat him right now. Most likely we think. Yeah. But but, but Lale, if Laletin needs to come to WAF and beat him is a little bit different thing, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Dedim ki o dedim e, Bulgar vardı ya senin yendi. Evet. Şu anda dedim muhtemelen Laletin onu yener dedim ama Laletin şu anda onu yenmesiyle Laletin'in Vafa gelip onu yenmesi aynı şey değil dedim. Biraz farklı şeyler yani. Evet, evet, aynen öyle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We, we were talking before already about uh, Arif's, Arif's training. So he's uh, just arm wrestling once a week and two more days weights and arm wrestling after. So that's mm-hmm. it. He's training three times a week, or there is something other. I think two times he do the table training, but I will ask him. Uh, yeah. Arif, sen dedin ki uh, iki defa hafta içi uh, ağırlıklardan sonra şey yapıyorum ben. Masa yapıyorum ama teknik anlamda yapıyorum dedin. Hafta sonu yani, maç yapıyorum. Ha? Yani şey teknik anlamda öyle hani şey böyle çok zorlu bir maç olarak değil. Çalıştığımız bölgeye yönelik birkaç şey, teknik. Ha, ha. Evet. You know, you know. Yani the, the, the specific, you know. Uh, muscle group uh, training at the table. You understand? You hold the guy, you pronate. Hold the guy, pronate. Yes. So you are, yeah, not so, the so table training, but the yeah. specific, you know, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Like, like you're doing uh, exercise on table with a sparring partner. So yes, you yes. Work on yes, specific yes. group with sparring partner. That's, yeah, so, that's the, so, so that well. the muscle group, muscle group trains mm-hmm. as realistic as possible for arm wrestling. But I didn't finish my question to him. Bu üç tane antrenmandan hariç başka antrenman yapıyor musun Arif? Evet abi ya yani haftada 6 gün benim idmanım. Şimdi 666 times a week. Diğer diğer idmanlarım tabii bodybuilding ile alakalı oluyor. Ha he said that the other three are for yani. the uh, general bodybuilding training for uh, everywhere you understand? Yeah for general general strength and health. Yeah. Maybe I should ask him the the, the his some of his uh, weight training numbers. Yeah. Yeah senin <gülüyor> Şey anlamında e, kaldırdığın ağırlıklar neler abi? Yani kilolar bench gibi veya deadlift gibi veya e, omuz gibi ağırlıkların neler? Yani e, hangi ağırlıkları kaldırıyorsun? Ne çapta? Omuz press'te abi e, maksimum gördüğüm 200 Kaç kilo omuz oldu. Press? Omuz press? Yok şey bench, bench press. He said his max uh, bench press is 200 kilo. Evet. Hı hı. E, omuz preste e, serbest olarak değil ama simit meşinde öyle diyeyim ama yine serbest ağırlık takarak e, onda da 130'du en son. Bize bir de simit meşin 130 kilo shoulder press top shoulder. Ya, baş, başka ne sordun abi? Yani sen söyle deadlift söyleyebilirsin sana kalmış ha, yani. E, deadlift'te en son 260'ı gördüm e, devamı gelmedi çünkü koronadan dolayı. Uh, Devam edemem ona. ona. He said he was uh, picking up to deadlift, but because of the corona, he stopped coronavirus. He, he last last one he lifted was uh, 260 kilo. Ama daha çok sevdiğim hmm. tabii bu pull çekişler. E, Barbell row'da mesela 200 kiloydu en son. Yine o da korona girdiği için devam edemedim. E, Barbell row 2 kilo serbest ağırlık mı böyle takıyorsun? Evet, böyle evet. Göğüs... Serbest, barla. Göğsünün üzerine yatıyorsun böyle... Böyle mi çekiyorsun? Yok abi serbest bir şekilde duruyorsun. Normal barbell rowing. Barbell rowing belin ağrımıyor mu abicim o kadar ağırlıklı? Yok abi. O o hiçbir yere de, yani. destek almadan mı yapıyorsun onu? Sadece kemer var yani öyle söyleyeyim. Kemer var belden eğiliyorsun öne doğru çekiyorsun yani. Hani tek dumbbell'da yine bir koluna destek alıyorsun evet, ama. Evet destek iki... alıyorsun yok barbell'da almıyorsun. Kaç kilo evet. yaptın dedin kaç kilo? 200 abi. Ya beşinci set falan da herhalde. Wow, I, I, can, I can't believe that. Uh, the, he said that you know he did the barbell row with two hands. Yeah, like you know, sta- standing uh, bent forward barbell row. Yes, yes, yes, yes. But he said he did this with 200 kilo, and I said like, don't don't you get hurt? You know, just like I mean, because when you do one dumbbell, you know, you put your yeah. other arm, you know, on your knee or something, you know, or the bench or something, you know, you don't get the, so much pressure on your back, but you know, you just bend yourself for 200 kilo and then do rowing. 
Wow, it's, tech, tech, tech uh, it's that's very impressive. That's very impressive. That's, but uh, yes, I, I, I have uh, heard, heard, heard and seen uh, people doing uh, in such ways. So I will possible. ask him. Tek tek kar mıydı Arif? İki tekrar abi. Ee, de, Yusuf'a two reps, two reps. Two reps, you know, with 200 kilo. Yeah. yeah. Yeah. Uh, those those are very serious numbers about uh, arm wrestling and uh, general training. And uh, I would I would say, of course, uh, there is never best bench presser or best arm wrestler. But if mm-hmm. you have good general overall physical strength, it's always much better to to yes, achieve yes. also good specific strength. So good basics, good good uh, this GPP preparation, and then good overall strength is very important as well. As definitely, yeah. and for for health, for uh, overall yeah, health, yeah. it's important. Sure. As well. Arif is the new generation type of arm master that you know all kind of stuff but still you know uh, focusing on the specific the forearm you know if you have good hand wrist forearm and technical ability mm-hmm. those great numbers that he talk about it is a uh, behind him is uh, like so much uh how to say like sport you know a yeah. lot you know I- imagine me having that kind of sport behind me with the tricep and shoulder but the good hand in the healthy days you understand i yes. mean oh Yes. It would be incredible, yeah. yeah. Yes. So these are the young young guys, you know, doing those kind of things. Uh, Hamza da senin gibi yapıyor mu, Arif? Öyle o Arif. deadlift metodu. Yapıyor tabii. Şey, e, o deadlift bacak kısmı hariç e, diğerlerine beraber yapıyoruz zaten abi. Omuz, de de, a, a, a, Arif also is doing the same thing against the legs because he he has a he's a weight class puller, you know, not Arif like super heavyweight. He yeah. doesn't do the legs and he doesn't do the uh, deadlift. Other, other than those two, he said that he's doing everything together. You know, they are tra- training uh, partners, you know, they are. Ah, so they are training together, like. Okay. Yes, yes. You know, Arif is holding and Hamza all the time on his arm, you know. And then whenever Hamza is pulling the 80 kilo guy who is not as strong as, you know, Arif, you know. Yeah. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Arif has, uh, Hamza has incredible endurance, you know. Incredible. Even sometimes Arif cannot match his endurance. Arif can beat him easy. But yeah. if he waits long time, long time, long time, and then sometimes Arif gets, you know, tired. Mm-hmm. Diyorum bazen çok uzun bekleyince Arif'in de yoruldu oluyor. Hamza'nın dayanıklığı uh, çok evet, iyi. Evet. Çok çok iyi. Yeah. Uh, you, you, you said uh, Arif get uh, get some injuries when he did some uh, pull-ups, uh, pull-up bar uh, just fell down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not with, muscle, with, muscular injury, but it's just he came yeah. to his face and the leg and yeah. yeah. But with with weight of uh, 130, 140 kilos, that's that's good. And uh, how many pull-ups he can do, or, or are he doing short or a full range of pull-ups? Maybe with some even extra weight. Kaç kaç kilo ile e, kaç e, kendisi 135, 140 kilo diyor. Açarak mı yapıyor diyor, yarım yarım mı yapıyor diyor. Kaç kere yapabiliyor diyor, ekstra kilo takalab takabiliyor mu diyor. Ee, şeyde barfix diyor değil mi? Barfix'te. Ha, ha, ha. Yani şöyle söyleyeyim barfix çok fazla antrenmanım içerisinde yok. <gülüyor> Ama geçen seneki hazırlık sürecimde yine e, haftada bir gün e, vardı. Bu sendeki bu döner kabza var ya evet, yuvarlı evet, falan. Evet, evet, evet, evet, <gülüyor> ondan var o benim dudağımı yaran. E, ha, onda ha. çalışıyorum ama e, çok fazla şey takmıyoruz. Olabildiğince o alttaki videoları söküyoruz. O döner şekilde çekmeye ha, çalışıyorum. Ha, ha. Yani daha ziyade el, elin için mi uğraşıyorsun? Kolundan ziyade, omuzundan ziyade. Uh, we lost somewhere, Arif. He, he said that, you know, um, he said that uh, he he was doing uh, pull-ups with the rolling rolling handle. And yeah. mostly, mostly so it's, for, it's, it's, it, yeah. for his hands, you know, instead of, you know, uh, his uh, body and legs, you know, he was focusing on his hand and finger, but he was, he said that he wasn't doing a lot, but he said that he still had once a week, he was doing it last year before the Walls. Ee, dedim ki döner barfikte sadece daha ziyade dedim e, eli için onu e, yapıyordu. Haftada bir kere yapıyordu geçen seneki dünya şampiyonasından önce. Doğru mudur? Sesin gelmiyor. Sesin gelmiyor. Ses gelmedi. <gülüyor> bir daha söyle bakayım. Yeah. Uh, lost again. Mm-hmm. He will come. Yeah. Benim sesim. My voice went to him. His voice didn't come. Şu an geliyor mu sesin? Konuş. Gelmiyor. Bir daha konuş. Evet şu an geliyor biraz. I, I don't know why he is going. I have no idea. Maybe someone calling or I have no idea. But his voice was incoming. 
Duydun mu abi? Ya, ya, geliyor şimdi evet. evet ha, abi, ben geliyor. duydum değil mi benim dediklerimi? Ne abi? O şeyde e, yorulduktan sonra onun o dönmesini iptal ediyoruz altından vidayla. Biraz öne gelsene kafan kafanın ucu gözüküyor sadece sen gözükmüyorsun. Ha evet ha, şu an gözüküyor. Evet. Daha sonra o dönme kısmını iptal ediyoruz. O şekilde devam ediyorum ama ekstra bir ağırlık bağlamıyorum. Hemrımdan dolayı kolum böyle tam kapanmıyor. Ben de o bartiksin kolun yukarısına çıkamıyorum. Çıkamadığım Aha. için daha, daha doğrusu çıkamadığım için fazla yukarıya. Kolum engellediği Aha, için kolum da, e, çekmiyorum yani açıkçası. Açarak mı yapıyorsun? Yarım yarım mı yapıyorsun? Statik mi yapıyorsun? Tam Nasıl? açıyorum. So, tam açıyorum abi. Sonlarında statik bekliyorum ama. And he said that he is doing, he, he doesn't put weight a lot. He said that, you know, his, I think his arms are uh, big or something. He cannot really can go up, you know, and he said that he do uh, full range. Mm-hmm. And at the end, he's doing uh, every set uh, static holds. Static holds, yeah. Yeah, he's yeah, does but, dynamic and at the end weight, yeah. Yeah, but with, of course, not extra weight. With, with his weight, yeah. it's, it's already a lot of extra, yeah. I, I think I, th- I think that without the rolling handle, I think he, he could put weight. But the, yeah, when you yeah. put the rolling handle and you are already 135 oh, oh, oh, kilo, it's a little bit harder, you know. Yeah? And he has small hands, you know. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah, uh, Arif is a young ar- arm wrestler. And uh, one more question. It's it's about fantasies. But uh, what he thinks in the uh, next deca- decade, uh, who, who will be for in his mind, uh, top three heavyweights who will dominant will, will be dominant uh, world of arm wrestling for next 10 years, for example. Before, if we watch previous decade, it was uh, mm-hmm. uh, Dennis, Pushkar, maybe. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, Devon. Yeah. Who, who else? Uh, yeah, and- but Yanis, can I, can I tell you something? You know, um, except Devon, most of the people that you mentioned, they were allowed to pull against each other last decade. Yeah. And now when you look at the, these contracts and everything, it don't you think it will be a little bit hard to know who is the best except the, like guessing, you know, just like that we are doing now, you yeah. know, because Paul has the like, you know, half of the best guys and then you, you don't get to see them pulling in love and not with the wild guys. And yeah, but I will ask anyways, you know. But yeah, but what it's, are... it's anyway, we'll be guessing. We, we will guess it now. But... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Arif diyor ki, e, önümüzdeki 10 yıl, yani 2020 ile 2030 arasında diyor, e, senin tahminince diyor, Arif'in görünüşe göre, mesela geçtiğimiz 10 yılda diyor işte Devonlara, Deniz Şiplenko, Puşkar falan vardı diyor. Mesela hani en şey yapılan. Bu önümüzdeki 10 yılda diyor, hani onun görüşüne göre diyor, e, kafa en iyi ilk 3-4 kişi, e, kimler olacak dedi de ben de ona dedim ki yani geçtiğimiz 10 yılda iyilerin birbirle yapmasına maç yapmasına müsaade vardı ama şimdi e, iyilerin birçoğu palde paldekiler o, bu hafta yarışamıyor valde yarışamıyor aralarında kontrat şey problemleri var valdekiler dışarıda yarışamıyor bunu dedim hani tespit etmek zor en fazla tahmin edebiliriz dedim de o da e, tahmin olarak dedi kafasına göre ona, ona göre kim olur dedi yani yine tahmin olarak yani tahmin olarak olur anca dediğim gibi yani karşılaşması biraz zor olduğu için ama aşağı yukarı sonuçlar belli şimdi top 8'de de olan kişiler belli. Ama bir... önümüzdeki 10 yıl, önümüzdeki 10 yıl diyor. 2020-2030 arası yani bildiklerimizden mesela kimler öne çıkar? Mesela sen Cellaletin öne çıkar mı? Deniz Benisi yener mi ilerleyen yıllarda? Veya bilmem kim ne bileyim işte. Sen söyle. Yani Laletin şu an için de öne çıktı bence ama... Ha. Evet, e, o 10 yıl içerisinde Deniz e, artık yapar mı, yapamaz mı ya da şimdi yaş ilerledikçe nasıl bir hmm. performans eski iyi yakalar mı onu düşünmek lazım hani ya da eski performansındayken şu an sence bir... kimler olmuş işte bunlar? Evet. Sen şu an gene soruyu soruyorsun. Sen fikri söyle. <gülüyor> Laleti o zaman direkt fikri söyleyeyim. Laleti olur mu? Olur diye düşünüyorum. Levan ee, devam eder mi? On Le- yani Le- aşağı yukarı. Le- Düşünüyorum. Evet. Çünkü hep üzerine koyarak devam etti o da. O yüzden zaten o kademeye geldi şu an. Evet. Top evet, evet. Ee, onun dışında tabii ki kendimi de orada görmek istiyorum. Helal aslanım benim. Yürü. Görmek istiyorum. Aynen. Evet. Okay. Yani he, he says that he says that you know it is you know hard to guess you know because they can pull against each other you know as we uh, guess and he said that 
he doesn't know if, if Dennis can still maintain, you know, this power, you know, 10 more years because he's getting yes. older as well. And he said that he doesn't know if he can or not. I said, now you, you are asking questions. Just tell me the answer. And he said that, you know, he's his uh, La Latin already and the one. And he thinks that those two will be the uh, top guys next 10 years. And he said he also would like to see himself there. You know, of course, I mean, you are yeah, love to play yeah. away champion. And then he, somebody's asking, no, I, I, I don't have any goal to be there, you know. It would be too small, you know. I, I don't yeah, think anyone he's, who he's will... still, yeah, young, he's still yeah, very, very young, yeah. 28, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah. For yeah. heavyweight, that's that's 